Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sun this morning. It's day two of planting. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, let the uh, tractor get a little heat in it. I've got seed in it for this morning. Um, gonna go do like a 30 acre field. And then I'm gonna be moving into a shy 80 acre field. And Colton from Coke Agronomic Services is gonna be showing up when we get to that field. Uh, we are putting in one of the first trials for Protivate this year there. Into there, um, probably about a 20 acre trial. We'll be getting it shoved in the ground, knocking out the rest of that, everything else that we have going on. Weather looks like it might be turning in our favor, knock on wood. And then we'll probably move into uh, a 90 acre field. It'd be a huge day if we get 200 acres in. Um, that'd put us close to 300 acres of beans in the ground and uh, kind of keep chugging along here. See how many beans we can get in the ground, get them growing. That's the plan. I'm gonna eat an egg and a microwavable sausage link. I'll let that thing warm up. Yes, you, you don't wanna watch that for a little while, do you? No, no, fine. I'll eat breakfast by myself. Nothing quite like the first pass of the day, staring straight into the sun, having a staring contest. Row number six is having problems. Wake up. I probably need to go uh, take a deep off real quick. That'd be my issue right there. How'd that happen? Nothing like a little tile tape solution. Go on, get in the tractor. We got a steering contest to win. Let's go. Go, I ain't fixing it yet. The old tile tape is uh, working good. Went nice. So, obviously that's not a, a full-time fix, but it did slow me down enough that I think I'm probably gonna have to uh, this one's like 30 acres, but it's split up into two, two patches. So I'm probably gonna polish this patch off and then uh, fold up and head to that 80 acre field to try and start putting the end rows in. That way uh, we can put that trial in when Colton shows up. Does that sound like a plan, Blue Dog? Huh? Is that a plan? Ready to go see Clevis today. Show him how to go. Show them how to beat Dow. Show them how to beat Dow. Yeah. That 20's done. Back around the corner here to uh, go start on an 80. That's kind of ridiculous there, bud. I got the end rows done on this field and we're ready to start the trial. Take my headphones off. What podcast are you guys listening to? Find me another good one for playing season. Anyways, <clears throat> said that he was about five minutes behind. That means he'll be here in about 10 minutes, which is good because I'm probably 20 minutes behind. So we're going to uh, get, we're going to get ready to put this trial in. But just, just pretty much, you guys will see it. It's just like we're loading up another box of beans with, uh, instead of graft out, we're going to be using protobate. And then uh, change some stuff in the monitor. Actually, I could do that right now. Let's do product. Do this, soybeans. These are agri goals. Three. T-I-V-A-T-E. Protivate. Man seed and two monitoring. Bango. Now we just switched to hybrid. We got that in there. You know, some of you might not know how I do these. It's both like corn. I can control both sides of the planter, label on two different products, 12 rows at a time. That's go for. 
when I do soybean trials, um, you just change the hybrid and then you kind of have to plant like an area. Um, and then when you harvest it, look at the yield monitor, see if there was a yield response for the variable that you changed. That's what we got going on. So here's our protobate. We'll put that on the uh, back of the truck. What's up, killer? Oh, not trip over bail for Taking piss? So since we got a hot second, we're gonna break down a couple boxes. I'm talking to the GoPro. So with these boxes, they uh, oh gosh, I'm slipping. They break down in half that way they can get more boxes on a truck when they return them don't have to worry about weight because they weigh 20 in between two and three thousand pounds like these boxes right here weigh 2400 pounds so they can only get so many of them on a semi anyways space wise and weight wise Colton's back from Coke Agronomic Services. He was here last time dropping off the protovate for us. There's a few things that we didn't cover last time. So this is a replacement for our graft talc. You don't have to add graft talc to your uh, planter if you're using this, correct? That is correct. I mean, this is your, your talc and graphite 80-20 replacement. Um, you know, works just as well from a lubricity and flowability standpoint. Uh, you know, I'd say from a seed singulation standpoint, also you're going to avoid those those costly skips and doubles. So definitely, definitely a pla replacement with, with some key nutrients. So we have NU4, which is kind of the base model. There's three total different uh, versions of Protovate. Is that correct? There are. Yep. There, there are three different formulations. I'd say NU4 is probably your one size fits all. Uh, if you're wanting to run one product across both corn and soybeans, um, I'd, I'd lead with NU4 dry. We also have NU5, which adds molybdenum. It's more soybean specific. You could still use it on corn, but molybd molybdenum is a little more important when, when you're planting that soybean crop um, early season. And then you also have NU5 Lux, which is kind of a seed finisher. So it has that titanium dioxide. It's got that sparkly finish that some guys are looking for on that, that soybean seed. That's run through the treater, so that's not a planter box treatment like NU4 dry and NU5 dry. So we've talked about the nutrients that are in here. One of these totes does basically a pro box, give or take, uh, depending upon the seed size and how many units are in your pro box. We're going to be applying this, show you how to apply it. We're going to be actually filling the planter here shortly. Um, multiple ways you can apply it. This one we're just going to be doing the most basic way, which would be a lot of the ways that a lot of guys, if you had like a box planter or something along those lines we're just going to be dumping it in there today if you had an applicator then you'd really be kind of in the money is because you can meter it in as you're yep. as you're going uh so we're going to be doing it the basic way one thing that we also didn't talk about last time you were here was we didn't talk about like the roi that we're seeing for actually switching from uh, a graft talc to actually using protivate as your seed lubricant yeah you know across the state it's going to be it's going to be priced differently uh depending which retailers carrying it but from an roi perspective with where the market's at right now you're looking anywhere from a, a six to one to eight to one roi on on corn and you're probably around that five to six to one roi on soybeans so i mean a very cost-effective product um, and again like I said it's it's something if you're using a, a tout graphite today you're not adding any extra steps to your operation so we're gonna be showing that because it's time for us to fill up and then we're gonna be putting in that plot here today um, we're not as wet we're still damp at least um, but we are early this is the, the ninth so we're early 
Uh, weather forecast looks pretty decent. It's still cool at night, but we got some 80 degrees days coming. Um, emergence, hopefully uh, we don't see much of an issue with that, but this should help with our cold germ. So maybe we'll see an actual stand uh, improvement here. And then at the end of the year, we'll hopefully see some yield improvements as well. Let's fill a planter. Yeah, so this is a three ounce scoop. Um, basically one, one scoop will do a unit. So there'd be 50 scoops in a bucket to do to do 50 units of seed. And then you just apply it like you'd apply your regular 80-20 at the, at the planter box here. So we've gotten a few passes in here. We've just been chatting. Um, the planter has been performing the same as uh, we use our normal stuff in populations holding good. Singulation on soybeans is always where it's going to be, especially using the brush meters. Seeing no performance difference between protovate and regular graft talc. And it's performing just as good or better. There's a little bit of dust flying. I don't know what the temperature is today, but as you can tell, we're still wearing uh, sweatshirts. We are uh, 56 degrees today, so we are over 50 degrees, but I think we touched on uh, last time about the cold germ. We're getting like 6% better cold germ. Is that on corn or is that on soybeans? 6% on corn, 8.75% on beans. 8.75% on beans? Holy smokes. Yep. So how, that should correlate to some, uh, some yield benefit in that way. Yeah, I would say some added yield potential, and and one thing one thing that comes to mind for me is, you know, when we think we're sitting here 56 degrees, that's just our temperature outside. I mean, soil temps are probably still less than 50, um, and you know we got we got a couple inches of rain last week, so we, we have some moisture in the soil. Um, one thing one thing we want to look at when we're comparing you know a regular talc and graphite to to protovate is we never want that seed to have a bad day. So I think, you know, the fact that we got some nutrients right on the seed going into going into a colder, wetter soil, we're already setting ourselves up for, for that, uh, you know, that increase in, in cold germ, that increase in yield potential. So again, to me, it comes down to as a grower, our job is, is to grow the best crop we can and, and make sure that that seed never has a bad day. So there we go. We've got a big old strip in there of the first trial with protovate so uh, 140,000 population and then if we look at it we got 28 acres in there so we did good we're going to go mark that and then we've got a fill and then i believe we have pizza oh there's a bubba hi big guy and, uh we are switched to a new one that way uh, you can see different color there this is just back to regular 820 and uh, finish out this field for those who want to know. We've had lunch, it's 120 and uh, we've gotten shy 70 acres in. So something else we've got going on here in this prime planting season is over here at this farm, there was two hog barns here. There was a hog barn running obviously this way and there was another one over there running alongside those bins where that dirt spots at over there so this morning i had to uh run town and get some grass seed so since i'm the best farmer on this operation i have planted grass seed before i will say that i had i did do that one time in my house and i actually came out of the ground i was just as surprised as you probably are but i got some of this grass seed and i got this one because as an expert gardener could do it i'm not that but i don't know sounded good anyway so i don't have any way to do this except for to just throw it up in the air and see where it lands so i'm gonna go get myself a cup or something like that so that I can do more than a handful at a time and we're going to see this grass down real fast all right so plan of attack is we're going to cut this bag open 
and we're going to go ahead and just delete this whole rigmarole because I don't want that in my life. I found this little cup. So plan is get a scoop and sling it. So you can tell me if I'm doing this wrong and I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but it's uh, kind of what we got going on. We're gonna start off over here on this little dirt patch and sling some seed. Okay, so fun fact, that's a horrible idea. There is a seed slinger, whatever you call that thing, a uh, little cedar that, I know I used it at the pumpkin patch and I believe it's at Wayne's and I'm fixing to be at Wayne's. That's, that's all it takes to be a farmer, that right there. So we just finished that, Colt's gonna go skid steer wax and uh, honeysuckle that I missed that when the last time I was doing it. Um, there's, oh, that was weird. There's a trial. That's how we do that. That feels done. Check part. I'm gonna put some fuel on this. That way if uh, I do end up running late tonight, I've got plenty of fuel and uh, we're gonna move to like a 12 acre field. We're at 100 acres on the day. So we're on our last fill up of the night. There goes two dogs. I inherited a fluffy dog. This uh, advantage to having a bulk fill bean planter now is that I should have enough on to uh, make it the rest of the night. Oh, and go, uh, go home, go ride horses or something. So. One last go. I thought one of these is a partial box. Is this one a partial box? I think that one would be a partial box. Can't remember. I bet it's this one. That has to be, because I know that I put one on the back. No and I want to trip this one, so before I trip that far one, so this one's a partial box. I think that's a partial, I think these two are full. I think so. I think that's about right. I think that's right. I think When you got a a uh, planter filler like me that on the clock, bud, got to tap out early. You fill it to where you barely get that lid on there. Then you can play it all night long. Ain't that right? At least, hopefully, about 90 acres. <laughs> well, it's 10:37. I ran out of seed. Didn't get it all the way done. I probably got like three acres left. So, Molly brought me some homemade pizza. We've gotten folded up. I'm headed back to the shed. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, probably about 6.30 or so, so a little less than eight hours. Thanks for hanging out.